Hi, my name is Madeline Mirador. This is my mini exam video six. So today we're going to be talking about one of the four modes of prokaryotic transcriptional regulation, and for today we're going to be talking about positive inducible. So first we're going to go over some of the regulatory mechanisms for transcription. So first we have our positive and negative control. Positive control is when the regulatory protein binds to the DNA and transcription is stimulated, and negative is when uh, transcription is prevented when the regulatory protein binds to the DNA. And then we also have inducible and repressible control. Inducible control is um, when transcription is turned on when the small molecule binds to the regular protein. And in the opposite, repressible um, transcription is turned off when the small molecule binds to the regulatory protein. So prokaryotes regulate uh, their genes through transcription, and this occurs at a specific point in the DNA, and it's called the operon. And so we're going to be focusing on a few different segments within this, called the promoter, the operator, and then we have structural genes at the right here, which code for proteins that are later used for cellular processes. So in order for those structural genes to be coded into proteins, we need RNA polymerase to bind to the promoter and then transcribe all the way down the DNA strand. However, the operator can block RNA polymerase from doing so based on whether or not a regulatory protein has uh, bonded to the operator here. So in order to stimulate transcription, we need our regulatory protein or our activator protein here to bind to the operator. However, however before this happens, we need our small effector molecule here to bind to our activator protein, and then it can bind to the operator, and that'll induce transcription as well. This will be positive inducible. So if you, you can see here our small effector molecule here and our uh, activator protein here, it'll bind to the operator and allow RNA polymerase to transcribe all the way down the DNA and transcribe all of these structural genes into proteins. So we're going to talk about an analogy here to talk more about um, positive inducible control. So here's my dog, Romeo. He's a pug. And if anybody knows anything about pugs is that they're super stubborn. And he loves to be outside. We can't hardly ever get him to come inside. And the only way we can do that is um, for us to yell, come inside, and to offer him a biscuit, a dog biscuit. We call it a cookie. And so transcription in this situation is him coming inside. And um, the activator is the command come. And our small molecule is the treat that we offer him, the cookie. And that is how positive inducible control would work with my dog. And here are my references.